um, twist on me, so I gotta kind of loosen up and direct it with my thread. Thread pressure's everything here. Okay, come back in behind the eye now that I've got it secured in front. It's right dead center, and give yourself another thread base to work with because I'm gonna start my next composite loop there with um, some black thread. All right, there it is. Okay, now these will eventually lay down a little better. Right now they're kind of sticking up. You can take your thumb and get them to go down a little better. And then you can even separate them if you want. I like to just run them together. That looks really good, yeah. Okay, now remember when you get your black um, rac fin raccoon on, it's going, to, it's going to lay these down a little bit for you. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get my hands a little bit wet because <clears throat> I have to stroke this material and get it wet and kind of get it out of my way because I'm going to be working in, in the front of it. And if you don't do that, it tends to want to get caught up in your other work. Okay. Just laying some thread down in here to make sure that the fly is built like a tank. It doesn't come apart. Your reputation as a fly tire will go away quickly if your flies are falling apart, especially if you're asking for money for them, okay? So, a guy could even right here, right now, if he wanted to, put a little dap of sap gap in there, but I'm pretty confident in my thread pressures, and that's looking real good. All right, now I'm going to, right behind those eyes again, another 5-inch composite loop. And we're going to do the same thing with the rabbit, uh, or pardon me, the fin raccoon in black that we did with in the orange. <clears throat> Wax. Okay. Dubbing tool. Fin Raccoon, black. This is a little bit longer. Notice how lo much, a little bit longer that is. Um, about the same amount of material, but much shorter, because this is like a veiled head that's only going to come halfway on the orange. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. Okay. Grab a nice portion of what you think you want. Okay, about yay much. <clears throat> Snip her out of there. I'm sorry I wore the wrong shirt today. I didn't think about that before I started. Do you notice? I'll show you. Watch this. <clears throat> Look at all the long guard hairs, okay? They got to go. Don't try and grab them all at one time. Grab a portion of them and just a little bit at a time. Pull them out. Now look at the difference. Okay? There's still some in there. I got to work them, but it's considerably different. Okay? I tied a fly yesterday and left them in there. It looked pretty cool. I haven't fished it yet, but I don't know what they're going to do. But I thought, well, let's try one with the guard hairs in it. They're, they look cool. I should be fishing today. But the honeydew list is getting long. And I don't enjoy work for a full week when the honeydew list is long. And I know that I've got to do it coming up. So if I keep the honeydew list down low, it's much easier to enjoy your fishing trip, if you know what I mean. All right. We have all the guard hairs now are out. Okay. And, but it's still considerably longer. I have to get, pitch it down now to the length I need. And remember, you're going to be ending up 
with this black fin raccoon on the opposite side of the eye, so you have to kind of account for that with material and the number of wraps and how long your dubbing loop is going to be. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking you don't want too much because you don't want to cover up your orange. Your orange is your featured color. And the contrast that this black lays on it is just gorgeous. I'm guessing, <clears throat> I'm guessing that. So check for guard hairs. A couple still laying in there. Okay, good. Got them. Open it up in your hand and let it start to unfold, but keeping all the ends lined up, okay, in your hand. Reach down, grab your loop, open up your loop, set it in the loop, get your finger out of the way, and now you can start to get it to the length you want it to be and you can take and spread it out a little even if it wasn't where you thought it needed to be that way okay if you wanted to right now you could come and trim that sole top with the scissors it's looking pretty good i don't think i'm going to do that right now for sake of time and once again this is a slow start spin material not all of them are, but this this is. Slow, few wraps, okay? Got it going. Didn't get in the way of anything else because I got it, all that other material out of my way. And now I'm just picking. I'm just picking this out lightly because I'm going to try and spin it again here in a second because it's got materials coming out but I don't want that so I have to spin a little bit more before I can use my brush <clears throat> something I noticed about my toothbrush this is the one I've been using like 95% of the time and I noticed it started getting waxed up so if you go out to the stove and turn on some boiling water and stick it in the boiling water all that melt all that wax will melt off your br bristles and it really helps <clears throat> it really helps um, not get any wax on uh, materials that you don't want wax on. Um, or, <clears throat> you can have a separate toothbrush, a newer one, for just this purpose. And at the cost of a toothbrush lately, um, you can just throw them away when you're ready if you don't want to clean them. Anyway, little tip there. Um, so, we, we are ready to wrap this now. It's good. Okay, let's just show it to you what it looks like. <clears throat> See, okay. So I'm going to come in and do the same thing you would do on a composite loop where you're stroking all the materials back after you've found the neutral position. By pulling up, it just quits spinning. Okay, now I have a little bit of an issue with the thread being a little bit longer, so I lost it off the hook. I'm going to put it on the dubbing on my dubbing players because I'm afraid I'm going to hit the camera. So if I come in here and stroke it back around all the material out of the way, can't trap material, that's not good. We need that material to be untrapped so that it undulates in the water the best it can, the most possible undulation we can get. That's a big word, isn't it? I don't even know if it's a word, but it's a word I made up, and I think you know what I mean. All right, so I've done two. I've got quite a bit left in the front, so I'm going to do a third one, help lay those hackles down a little bit. I've noticed that the hair is kind of wanting to trap, so at this time, before I wrap anything else, I'm just going to give it a little brushing to kind of get it where it needs to be so that I have to pick it out later, and that just helps overall everything so now here's a critical crossover point 
see if I can turn this and maybe show you better. All right, I'm going to come over here to the top. Instead of going behind, I'm going in front of. There's the turning point in front of, stroking everything back once again. And now I'm just going to wrap tightly, still stroking everything back on the dubbing loop. Okay. Everything, every stroke, every wrap gets stroked. So now I'm trying to build up a little bit of a nose right in front of those eyes. And I'm almost down to the end. And I want to use every bit of that material I can. And now, maybe a little brushing before I capture the thread on the dubbing loop. Get everything out of the way. Let that hang. And come in behind it, capture it, come in behind it, capture it, go up to the front and walk that all the way to the front okay now I can get that <clears throat> out of the way snip it out of there gone all right now you're not done yet <clears throat> stroke everything back capture the thread and now it's time to build a small little head on here now some guys like the small heads just because they think they look better or whatever it may be. But, And I've even been accused of this being looking like a tarpon fly off the front. But let me tell you something. I'm building my flies to be like a tank. And this longer, let's call it a nose if you will. This longer nose to me creates more of a bait fish looking head than the tiny little head where it just all of a sudden you have body right behind it.